the smart NIC or the data processing unit, uh, which is a card that you, you put in a server and it starts to do the st the, uh, the storage I.O. work that the server's mm -hmm. CPU used to do, uh, yep. leaves the CPU free to do more work. Does yep. Huawei have an approach or a product here? Yeah, for sure. Actually, uh, this is a very popular topic uh, in the industry, right? The storage industry. Mm -hmm. But Huawei is already uh, investing on this, I think, from uh, three, more than three years ago. We are already working on it. Uh, you know, a lot of things is achieved by uh, software coding, etc., right? What we are trying to do is to uh, try to combine the software technology and also the chipset technology. Mm -hmm. What we are doing now is that on the smart NIC, we put some data forwarding uh, functions, right, on the card itself, uh, on the card itself. A lot of uh, data forwarding job, right, is offloaded to the card. So this is the first point. Second point is that it's uh, doing something even smarter. For example, for the distributed storage, right, so, the traditional way is that uh, either it's writing to one node and this node spreading the data to the other node, right? To do the load mm -hmm. data balancing. Or you build the software client on the different servers. And uh, it's like a multi-pass, then it's uh, more servers writing to more uh, nodes simultaneously, right? Uh, the data mm -hmm. is distributed from the, you know, the direct uh, connections, right? To the different nodes. Then there's uh, no single line bottleneck in this scenario. Uh, the smart NIC card provides the possibility that you don't need to build a software client on the server node. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The card itself will distribute this data to different nodes simultaneously, uh, distribute the data. Yeah. So this will provide more bandwidth. And this is uh, extremely useful for the HPC scenario. Because the HP high performance computer scenario, you need a very big bandwidth, right? So if you are keeping topic only to one node, right? The so one node will be the bottleneck. But if you are, if it's multiple servers talking to multiple other nodes, right? There's no more, no, no bottleneck. The parallel bandwidth is huge.